done it. Hey, all you chemists. It's your boy, Carson Davis. Did you know you have a test in a couple of days? Well, I wouldn't want you to fail that. So Thomas and I created a review video to help all you struggling chemists and stoichiometrists out. Let's start with molarity. Molarity! <laughs> molarity is truly a beautiful thing. It's based off the most fierce and prestigious mammal of them all. The mole. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. By definition, molarity is the concentration of a solution expressed as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. In other words, if you were to use the formula for molarity, it's M equals mole over liter. If you're still confused on the equation, check out the following chart. Now to make sure you've mastered molarity, what is the equation and definition of the previous subject spoken upon? solutions and things of that nature. A solution is made of two or more different substances. Examples may include salt water, Dr. Pepper, and air. Solubility is a chemical property referring to the ability for a given substance, the solute, to dissolve in a solvent. Also, did you know solvents dissolve a solute to make a solution? Dr. Carson, I really want to be a chemist when I grow up, but I'm curious. What's the difference between a solvent and a solute? That's a great pregunta, Timothy. The solute is a substance that can be dissolved into another. It can be a solid, liquid, or gas, and it must be able to mix with the solvent. Now, on the other hand, a solvent is a substance that dissolves the solute. It can be a liquid or a gas, but it cannot be a solid. An example of a solvent would be, what's that I hear? A helpful tip alert? Remember this on your test, like dissolves like. Make sure to use your solubility of common ionic compounds in water on your formula chart. Wow, that was unexpected. Now to make sure you've mastered solubility, here's a quick question for you. A single glass of Kool-Aid consists of 51% water and 49% Kool-Aid mixture. Can you tell me which one is the solute and which one is the solvent? That's right, the solvent is water and the solute is Kool-Aid. Now it's time for the miscellaneous section, which features a wide variety of chemical terms. Yeah! Let's jump right in with dilution. The chemical equation for dilution is M1V1 equals M2V2. Now let's learn the three definitions of saturation. Make sure you know all three of these definitions. Unsaturated is below the maximum. Saturated is at maximum level and supersaturated above the maximum level. Although we have already discussed solubility, did you know there are three factors that affect it? The factors that affect solubility are temperature, pressure, and the nature of a solvent or solute. Now it's time for the third and final assessment. Which one of the following represents the dilated solution? Correct. It's the one with the least molecules in it. Now class, Although that I've reviewed a lot of content with you, you still need to make sure to study everything that's in your notes. Thanks for tuning in to the last and first episode of Chemistry Corner.